Well, the Romans knew all about the Ides of March, so did Shakespeare. So what's coming up this March 15th? The start of Omaha Fashion Week. You'll find a full lineup of talented designers, including Grace Neary. That was a very interesting lead, by the way. Thank you. She, <laughs> she's here alongside a <laughs> bit producer, Brooke Hudson. Who writes this stuff? I wrote that who, one. Who wrote the script you know, I, loved, books, I loved Shakespeare I back in the day. I thought it was a good reference working in. All right, Brooke, nine years, right? It's yes. bigger and better. Yeah, it keeps growing. It's crazy. It's been uh, nine years. Yeah. So yeah. how's this year shaping up? It's great. We are actually in our ninth year and we have a new venue mm -hmm. so that's one of the biggest things we're super excited about we've got a permanent home at the Omaha Design Center okay I was looking online yeah. you're, are you renovating the space now we are. Or are actually you in the process? we start tomorrow so I'm wow. gonna go in there with my pink hard hat and a sledgehammer tomorrow <laughs> and I'm start knocking at walls so <laughs> is it gonna be ready by the middle of March yes it will be oh my it gosh it's this, all aesthetic so this is what you've been working toward this mm -hmm. entire time because you yeah. had a few different sites for this event but really mm -hmm. this was the dream wasn't it was it? yeah so so it's almost 10 years in the making and we finally got wow. there. It's really exciting. That's well, terrific. let's introduce so. the, the world to our latest fashion yeah. designer, Grace. Grace Neary, <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm an 18-year-old fashion designer. Mm -hmm. I'm a, currently a senior at Duchenne Academy of the Sacred Heart here in Omaha. Um, I started designing in my first grade class mm -hmm. when my friend told me that if you drew a dress, you could take it to Von Mar and they'd make it for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is that the case? Yeah. I didn't know. Do you still have that design somewhere? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like saved in one of my memory boxes. Uh -huh. But I was always kind of the kid that was doodling in dresses in the sides of her, you know, math notebook or whatever. But I started sophomore year. I was like, it's time to start learning how to sew. Mm -hmm. So um, I asked for a sewing machine and a mannequin for Christmas, and then I received it. And my grandma and I, my grandma's an amazing, amazing seamstress. She now, um, last semester, taught a sewing class to two students at Creighton Prep. So. Uh -huh. So yeah. you come by it naturally, but it's amazing to me that within two years, you went from learning to sew to showing at Omaha Fashion Week, the yeah. fifth largest fashion event in the United States. Yeah. How do you, how do you put that trajectory into perspective? Um, I guess I started and I applied eight months after I got my sewing machine, uh -huh. which <laughs> maybe helped. That's but. not typical. I can't, I can't imagine. What is your collection like this year, Grace? Um, this year, it's inspired by the Bay Area and the city of San Francisco. So each kind of look is described by a different neighborhood or um, landmark in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. So this piece that um, Mary has right here, and Brooke was wearing this morning. This is, is this a part of that collection? Of yours? Yes. Yes. yes, it is Brooke's. Uh huh. Yeah. But but this isn't. This is like typical for what you do, not just the collection that you're showing in March. Yes, mm -hmm. I love the gray, but the, that pink lining. So yeah. when well, how, so how does this work? It's a cape, through, right? It's yep. a cape. It's a cape. So Can I slide it on? Really in right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. you know it's Brooke's piece, but I just I I love this. It's in the front. It's. Oh, I saw it on the runway about a year ago. Mm -hmm. You showed this collection March. last March and totally fell in love with it and ran over to, uh, to Grace. Like, even before it hit the runway, I saw it backstage. I'm like, I have to have that yeah, piece. Yeah, I can see why. Awesome. Do you yeah. love it with, like, long gloves and a yes. gust of wind? Shows that yes. pink lighting and you're walking through Omaha. Yes, I everyone. So I know I'm <laughs> fabulous. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> right. uh, but, Grace, uh, you got a couple months to repair, right? Mm -hmm. So how's the collection uh -huh. coming? And, and I guess, what do you do to, I mean, there's a lot of work to be done between now and March. Yes, there is a lot of work to be done. So I applied back, um, I think the applications opened a long time ago. So uh -huh. I think I applied in August yeah. and then I interviewed in October and then got a confirmation on my birthday actually. <laughs> so that was a really great birthday, birthday present. Um, and then uh, between now and or then the interview and the show or mm -hmm. rack check, I guess, on February 27th, yeah. I have to make all my patterns, well, first I'll design it all, uh -huh. make all the patterns according to my designs, kind of see what is realistic to put together and what, how I can actually, mm -hmm. you know, construct the garment and then buy fabric, put all the fabric together, sew it all. Before the end of February. Yes. Unreal. And select models. And select, yes, select models. models. Yes. Next week. Great segue right. yeah. to the casting call. And that's right. one of the reasons we wanted to have mm -hmm. you on now because mm -hmm. we know that there are a number of aspiring models, right. uh, men and women, mm -hmm. boys and girls who would love to be part of Omaha Fashion yeah. Week. What should they know, Brooke? Yeah, so we have a model call coming up on January 16th. It's at 2 o'clock at West Roads Mall in Von Mar Court. And this is a great opportunity for anybody who's interested in learning more about the modeling industry. We do a, a, a casting call where you actually get to walk the runway. So we have a real one, runway set up. 
We have a photographer there who will take headshots and full length body shots. Mm -hmm. We do a video of you walking and, um, and then take your personal information and compile all of that into a big database for our designers to select mm. from. So it's a really great opportunity for you to kind of build your confidence and mm -hmm. learn what it's like to go to a casting call. Yeah, and you so. can look at some of the requirements on the screen, but what yeah. should the models wear? What should they, anything they should bring specifically? They don't need to bring anything. We don't take photos. We, we have our own photographers, so we don't need mm -hmm. uh, models to hand in photos. Um, but wear, wear something you're comfortable in, that you feel good in, um, but something that's really stylish. We definitely want to see your body line. We want to see your legs. So really think about something stylish that uh, really shows off your figure. Mm -hmm. I and think that's a week from Saturday, isn't it? It is. The 16th, yes. yeah. You don't need modeling experience? I mean, I'm sure no, that's we beneficial. Lo we love diamonds in the rough. Uh -huh. We do. And we actually have a training program for models through Develop Model Management. Mm -hmm. Alyssa they, Diltz. Yeah, yeah, she's amazing. And she does a great job working with a lot of models. We have hundreds that we work with. Mm -hmm. And she trains them all and gets them ready. So we have boot camps. And then she does some one-on-one -on -one sessions with models as well. So. Well, there's information about the, uh, and you can see there are some of the past photos to kind of give you an idea, Brooke, about mm -hmm. what you were saying, some of the things to wear and right. what you're looking for. Um, but there's information about the casting call online. While you're there, get tickets because those yes. go on sale soon too. They do on January 11th. Monday. Actually, we've got lots coming up, yes. So and those will go fast. Mm -hmm. And I, actually, we find that our front row seats are really the fastest ones. Oh, of to course. Because well, everybody wants that right. seat. Right, yeah. 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 What? Well, what? I'm like, you look at me, everybody wants that seat, and then she turns to me. Well, no, I thought you were getting ready to say something. And speaking of front seat, like you said, it's got the, you're at the new venue, and uh -huh. this is the Omaha Design Center. Break that mm -hmm. down a little bit more for us. What's, sure. What do you like about this uh, location? What's so special about it? Well, it's great because the, the design, it's, it's going to be custom built to what Omaha Fashion Week mm -hmm. needs. And we, we've done a lot of events, we've seen a lot of events, and we know what people are looking for when they're planning an event. So it's really a very luxurious but kind of blank slate mm -hmm. space. So it'll be polished concrete floors, lots of the sheer draping that you see in the tents and a lot of the other venues we've been in. We will have um, tons of LED lighting so you can actually change the entire color of the room mm -hmm. to match your event. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of exciting things there. We'll have um, green rooms. Imagine that, MCs. <laughs> right. We'll have a really nice green room, uh -huh. a bridal suite, groom suite. We have a designer showroom, so designers after their shows can actually do trunk shows the next oh, day and sell their work. So if cool. you it if you want to buy, you just come to the design. It just center. shows the growth you guys yeah. have been going to. OmahaFashionWeek.com. Thanks for coming in, Gracie. Thank nice you. to meet you. Great, Great. designs. All the best, Grace. Thank you. Thank you.